Hey guys, Kino DVT here with a replay which I was spectating in earlier today between Cheeto, the Purple Protoss, and Mork, the Green Zone. Now this game is part of an unofficial tournament on the StarCast community which was actually the grand final. This is the first of a best of three. Let's see how it goes. Very standard, nothing particularly interesting happening yet, so I'll speed it up for a bit. Now I'd like to point out that Mork is doing what all Zog players should do, is and use their Overlord as their first scout. Um, on other maps, it's not as advisable, because sometimes your, your Overlord dies, but in this case, when you're just going from here to there, I would almost definitely recommend it for everyone because it is so useful and for some races like Protoss they can't actually get a ranged unit out very fast so you get to leave your overlord there and if you're willing to sack one I'll just slow it down now if you're willing to sack an overlord then you can actually get a two three four five minute scout into their base which can give you a lot of information to do with tech now uh, at this point, I think Mork is going for an expansion, but Cheeto expecting that has prevented it, but he hasn't saved up minerals, so I'm not exactly sure. He's just put his spawning pool down now. Sorry, I accidentally paused it there. And Cheeto is going for a gateway and a gas. So possibly some Stalker, Robo, Stargate? Mm, gateway and Tech. I would suggest, while Mork, I think, would be doing a, maybe a Zergling push, is what I would suggest, because he hasn't gone for full-on boom, and he's just got, he's getting close to enough gas to do the speedlings. Uh, he could tech up, but I just get the feeling he won't, because he doesn't have quite as many workers and he hasn't boomed quite strictly, and he started building his queen, and I suggest, in a, yep, there we go, metallic boost, so speedlings are on the way. Now we have a cybernetics course, so definitely some tech going on, that's quite a popular build, going gateway cyber core. Um, generally you go gateway cyber core gateway, so I guess, no, robo, okay. I don't know, I'm not a big, oh, baneling nest, this could be interesting. Um, I'm not a big fan of Robo vs Zerg because you're going to get Immortal straight out. I mean, you could always get the... Ooh, this is interesting. He's going to scout the Baneling Nest. No, Mork cancelled it. Interesting. Um, but as I was saying, Robo against Zerg just doesn't feel as potent as something as this Terran. I mean, the Colossi are going to be very good, but... It, Early on, you're just getting out a models, and for a scout, yeah, it could be useful for an observer, but... Okay, that's... I'd just like to highlight this play. Um, okay, so, Mork, a scouting drone, came in, da -da 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 -da, and he cancelled it. So, as far as the Protoss player is concerned, uh, is he one? Yeah. There's no tech building there. So, he's seen a spawning pool, and a hatch. So I think this is really good play by Mork because he has, while he was trying to tech, he cancelled the tech structures to deny scouting information. And I know for a fact Mork is in Diamond and I think this is a good reason why because he has denied the opponent's good scouting information which could lead to a very easy counter. But I'll be interested to see what comes out of this Robo Bay in just a second. Another gateway, so two gateway robo, not that unusual. The in comes... Mork falling behind a little bit, needs to pick up his work account a bit. Sorry, Fraps is just lagging a bit, I think that... Okay. But, wow, that's... I mean, he's not mining much gas, but... He's mining with two workers, that's not very efficient. But 16 to 24. This is interesting. Resources. Production. So we have the Bailing Nest pop now. We 
We had the Baining Nets pop now. We have, oh, a second hatch going down. Overlord, Minx statue. Um, okay, so we have one Robotics. We have one Immortal, which, again, unless you're taking up buildings, and especially versus these Lings, I mean, the... I mean, the reason I think that this is... I mean, he knows that Lings are incoming, because that's what he scouted. And he's gone an immortal. This suggests to me that he's just completely ignoring all the scouting information he's got from that, which suggests a heavy Ling build, because there's no... I'm blanking on what it's called, but there's no the level up, there's a spawning pool, there's an extractor. You gotta see the Ling's coming, and he's still just ignoring it and going immortal. And the reason immortals hit hard, but relatively hard. I mean, 20 damage, yeah, that's all right, but they hit slow, they move slow, and if they get surrounded, then they're just going to get decimated. You've got two zealots, which is a good idea of a sling, but the amount lings that are coming in, you've got no hope. And this sentry, while being able to block off, sorry, pardon me, I don't think he'll get it in time, because they are, I'm pretty sure, speed lings by now. Yeah, they're speed lings, so... I'll be interested to see what happens here. Um, maybe some banelings? No? Okay. Pushing... Okay, leaving three behind. Interesting. Now notice the two... Okay, that's good play. So he's trying... He's killing workers and he's morphing banelings, which I really like. Now, I suggest that these couple of lings might come back. Yep, here they come. They're coming back. And these banelings are going to go after the workers. So this is, I think this is really good because you're distracting them. And so his army is now over here. And he's going to use two banelings. Now that was good. He lost four or five workers, I think. Maybe six or seven. And he lost a few to the lings earlier. So that was good play by Mork. The only thing he could have done slightly better is if he'd, say, separated the workers, the... that the banelings and put one there and there. I'll have to try something like that at some point when I start playing Zerg again. Now this is another... I mean, I think this is another mistake that he made. He's building Stalkers, which... Yeah, they're a good unit, but they're just not that good against... They're just not Zergling proof, is what I'm trying to say, I think. I mean, they deal decent damage, 10 damage, it's four shots to take out one guy, and they don't deal well with lings in close combat. So, uh, not my first choice as a unit. So I think that's another mistake he's made. Although he hasn't pumped lots of immortals, which I really uh, speak of the devil. Um, but, I mean, let's look at the incomes now. Yeah, that, that, that really took purple down a bit. Um... I mean, Mork was already behind in the work account. I don't think it's a really good idea. I mean, it does make a certain sense because you've got to sack a guy for each of your buildings and you have to sacrifice larvae for army production and stuff. But it's... He did bring purple down a bit, but then again, he does have a second base. But the incomes are drastically different. I think... Yeah, he's not completely mining gas. I think that's two up top and two down the bottom. Now that was just a Ling Scout. Now this is a fairly decent force. The only objection I still have to it is it's not Zergling proof, which is all Mork has. And he knows this, because he's got... <laughs> he's got map hacks, as Mork puts it. Puts it. Um, now... So he keeps on going in. He's going for the... Now... These two stag defense could be crucial, and Mork is trying to play around them. Using now he backed off a little too much, which I'm not a big fan of. But now here he comes. Those four swords were all right, not ideal. And then boom. Now, if we look at all the stalkers, they're all pretty much dead. He's got lings and a queen in here, just playing in house. So, and he's got more lings spawning constantly, which is a good play. He's even great. That. He's even brought the workers off the line to bring them in. So I think that was well defended. 
he probably only lost one or two workers. And now he's counter pushing, which I think is great play because any time you do a successful attack, I think, you, I, and you have a substantial amount of army left, I think you should then push. Ha! <laughs> oh, this is a really good surround because he was trying to run his units away to where they would benefit from a choke, but he more often didn't allow that to happen and made advantage of the way Zerglings work when surrounding. And he's done it again here, which is great. And he's just bringing, he's just bringing work with it. He's just bringing more up. Uh, he's got an immortal. He's got it in a good place because the links have to walk around here, and then this is really good stalker placement because of the way attack moves work. They're gonna go for the things that affect them the most, but these links over here could really make a difference. So they're gonna go after the things. That, so if they oh. No, no! Oh, the oh, that's bad. Yeah, bye, bye, workers. <laughs> yeah. Not only did he run his workers away into a corner, they were being chased by banglings. And if we look at the income now, uh, purple has half the uh, workers Mort does, which I think means this is pretty much game over because there's nothing. He can't keep up with the amount of links that are just being thrown at his base, really. I mean... Yep, Ling's just tearing out. And, I mean, Mass... If he'd gone Mass Zealot... Mass Zealot with, um... Level 1 weapons, I think he would have actually been able to fend off all of this with, like... If he had 7 Zealots with Level 1 weapons, he'd be able to feed away pretty much every single attack and lose one or two guys but he hasn't done that and i don't really agree with that because level one weapons on a zealot they kill lings in two attacks which is mm, decimates them and he's hurting now he's got little in he has income but it's not as good as as, as mork is and production wise yeah we've got a spire coming up so this is GG, game over, I think, for Chido, because he's got Ling, he's got Lings, he's putting constant Ling prep, which is a really good idea, and he's got a Spire popping right now. Um, production, six meters. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's supply capped, which is why he hasn't produced anymore. And he's funneling those into 